Hello everybody and welcome to a new redstone tutorial. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3x3 hidden trapdoor. So as you can see we have a flat piece of ground right here, there's nothing noticeable at all. Uh, but when we hit this button you'll see a 3x3 area drops down and we can drop down into our secret base, do whatever we want. And then we want it to be hidden again, all we have to do is press the button and boom! It slides back up, it's all very smooth, sleek, and I think you'll really like it. Alright, so let's take a look at the redstone, and as you can see, it's really, really compact. Um, the new honey blocks, not connecting to slime blocks, is a huge help in these designs. Um, and yeah, you can make these insanely small. You d there's not even any redstone on this side of the door at all. And, and you can see it kind of in action, and it, it does look very, very cool. Now before I carry on, I just want to say, if you enjoy these redstone videos, please consider subscribing because it helps my ego. There's, there's, there's not really any other reason, I'll, I'll be totally real with you. Alright, let's build this thing. So, um, first you're going to need an area like this, and uh, before I begin, I just want to say that I've put a list of everything you need uh, to build this down in the description. So just hop down there if you want to want a list of everything that you need. So we're going to start things off uh, with an area like this. Now this is the 3x3 area that you want your trapdoor to be in. So I thought I'd do it in relation to um, the area that you want. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to add the blocks uh, that are going to be uh, extended up into the hole. So what you want to do is you want to place blocks like this in this shape right here. And then you want to place slime blocks underneath like this. Uh, so this is what's going to cause them to slide in and out. Uh, and then what you want to do is you want to come this side and you want to place two sticky pistons facing like that. Uh, next you're going to come around here and you want to place a single sticky piston on the bottom right there. Next we're going to place an obsidian block here. Now I'm going to be using quite a lot of obsidian in this build. Now I will, I will say that uh, you can use like furnaces or things like that. Something that doesn't get moved by slime blocks or pistons. Uh, you can use anywhere I use obsidian, but I'm going to be using obsidian, uh, just so you know. So you're going to place an obsidian right there, a redstone right here, and then you're going to want to place an observer like this, like this, and like this. You can place a block on top of the redstone right there, and place a button on there, and you'll see our double extender is already done. <laughs> now we need to make it so it extends up into the door, so what we need to do is come around this side, place an obsidian right here, uh, we're going to grab a redstone repeater, uh, put it right here on four ticks of delay, uh, obsidian right there, and then place a redstone right here. Now you want to come below and you want to place a sticky piston right there and a sticky piston to the right of it, place an observer facing this direction like that, and then a sticky piston facing upwards right there. Uh, and then just place an obsidian on top of the sticky piston to make sure it doesn't uh, pull any blocks or anything like that. Now you might notice the door's kind of out of sync at the minute. Uh, this is just because observers uh, are annoying. <laughs> so you might want to just uh, break and replace the redstone to try and get the, uh, the door back in alignment. But now we're good, so what we want to do is press the button. And there we are, we have our extension. Press the button again and you'll see it doesn't retract. So now we need to add another circuit to get it to retract. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, uh, place an observer facing outwards from that redstone right there, uh, two observers facing downwards, and then one facing across like this into an obsidian block right here. Uh, and then we're going to come this side, we're going to place an observer like that, an observer like this, and then you're going to place a sticky piston facing upwards like that. Alright, so now if we trigger the door, it should retract, there we are. So we've got our extension and retraction for this side of the door. Now I do want to mention before I go any further, this uh, observer here is very finicky. You always want the observer to be on the, in the top position. So maybe if you do something wrong with the redstone and it ends up in like this position rather than there, uh, you always have to come along, break it and just place it, place it back there, otherwise the door won't work. But as long as it's in the top position at the start of uh, every cycle, you should be good to go. So now we've done the left two thirds, now we just need to add in this other side. So what you want to do is you want to place your blocks right here, uh, you want to place your honey blocks, like that, oh that's, an <laughs> that's a satisfying sound, oh yes. Alright, now you're going to place a sticky piston right in the middle, like that. 
Uh, and what you want to do is you want to place a sticky piston right below facing upwards like that. Now we just need to wire these in. So you want to place a block here, a block here, and a block here. Redstone right there, a repeat facing to the left, and then a three tip repeater facing to the right. Uh, and you want to place a sticky piston or a regular piston, it doesn't really matter which, facing outwards. Um, and then you're going to place obsidian like that, obsidian like this, and that should be good to go for your circuit which extends to there, right? Now we just need to connect them up, so what you want to do is you want to place a sticky piston right here, an observer like that, uh, you're going to leave a block space, and then a sticky piston facing downwards, break the block right, not, not that one, <laughs> break the block in, the, in between the observer and the sticky piston. Uh, we're going to grab ourselves a redstone block, there we are, and we're going to place the redstone block in the bottom position right there. And that should be the door done right there. So let's give, let's give it a try. Oh, it's a beauty. <laughs> oh, yes. Now, much like the observer over here, this redstone block, if you've done something wrong and you're kind of troubleshooting, uh, this redstone block has a habit of getting stuck in that position right there, which will often lead to like things like this happening, with the door kind of extending and retracting in the wrong order. So just make sure the redstone block is at the bottom whenever you want the door to be open. So, uh, yeah, you should always end up with this. Now all we have to do is make this door look tidy. We can uh, add iron blocks around here to, uh, to hide the uh, redstone. Uh, one thing that might break your door if you like, immediately try and work it you need obsidian in quite a lot of places in this door. So what you want to do is you want to place obsidian right here. You want obsidian level with the slime and the honey. And you also want it above the slime and the honey like that. Um, if, if your door breaks, it's most likely because you placed a block like here or something. Uh, just make sure that the slime and the honey never touch uh, another block other than the ones they're supposed to. Because these are, these are on the push limit right here. So... But yeah, as long as you just break, place obsidian down here, uh, place obsidian across like this, and the only the only exception to this is right here in this corner, um, because this observer has to pop out into this position, you have to leave an air gap right here, so um, you can't place obsidian there or the door won't work. But yeah, that's that should be the door done right there. <laughs> Let's give it a try. It, it closes really nice and smoothly. Let's press it again, and boom. <laughs> oh, I do love it. All right, so yeah, that's gonna do it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you learned something. Uh, let me know if you have any problems, and remember to subscribe because it helps my ego, <laughs> and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.